Good morning everyone, I'm Anushka Vesh from 7th Real, role number 5. Today I'm here to discuss the topic modes of reproduction in plants. So today I'm here to discuss the vegetative propagation in plants. It's a kind of asexual reproduction as there is the no formation of the gametes, thus no union of the gametes. So this, uh, this vegetative propagation can be of two types, natural methods of vegetative propagation and artificial methods of vegetative propagation. This na natural method includes the cultivation of plants from the vegetative parts only, such as the roots, leaves, stems, etc. But this artificial method includes the various techniques and methods which are less expensive and, are in, and in a short span of time, various plants can be cultivated. And also, the plants grown by the artificial method of vegetative propagation are the exact copies of the plant. So today let's, I'll start with the uh, artificial method of vegetative propagation. So as it includes various pro process, so let's learn about it in brief. The first method is tissue culture or micropropagation. In this method, a tissue is taken from a tip of the plant which is known as the explant. After that, this explant is is put kept in a nutrient medium containing the plant hormones and various nutrients and under favorable conditions. After that, this explant develops into a cellular mass known as callus. This callus then mat get matures and and various plant saplings start growing on it. These are known as the plantlets. After that, now with the this matured callus with the plantlets, now it can be sa grown separately into the pods and a new plant can be arised like this. Example of such plants which can be cultivated are chrysanthemum and orchids. The next method we have is grafting. This in this method, a, 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 one plant is taken with the buds. This is the sign. This is known as the sign. This sign is kept over the stem of the other plant, which is rooted into the, into the soil. That that is known as the stalk. Now it is this is tied together, and also also this is coated with the wax in order to prevent infection. After some time. Both the sign and the stalk, the, the tissues in them combine together, they join together in order to form one stem or uh, one plant. Like this, a new plant can be arised. Also, a desirable quality can be grown as the sign it contains the bud and the rooted plant with the stalk, it provides it with the nutrients and the minerals from the soil. Like this, a plant is cultivated. Example of such plants are rose, mango, lemon, guava, etc. Now the next process we have stem cutting. In this process, a stem of a of a young healthy growing plant is taken. That this stem, which is cutted, has the leaf parts and it is put it into the moist soil. This then develops, start the roots start growing and the leaves start developing. Like this, a new plant can be grown. Example of such plants are sugarcane and rose. The next process we have layering. In this process, a, a plant from a plant, one of its branch is bent into the ground and covered that is layered with the, with the soil. After that, this plant start developing roots. Then this plant is cut it from its parent plant and allowed to grow separately into a new plant. Like this, a new plant can be arised by this process. Example of such plants are Bongevillea, Jasmine and Vines. So thank you very thank you very much and have a good day ahead. Today like we finish a topic. Thank you.